Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how can we interface a stepper motor with 8051 and then move it in a clockwise and a anti-clockwise direction using Kyle and Proteus as our two softwares. So in Kyle, what we are going to do is we are going to write entire program and then we are going to debug the program over there. Then we'll shift on to Proteus and in Proteus, we'll do our circuit designing and then we'll load the hex file that was created during Kyle onto our Proteus software and then we'll see our simulation and get the output okay so let us first start ahead with understanding the program and then we'll go ahead and use Kyle and Proteus softwares so the very first line in my program is hash include register 51.h so this is a very mandatory and an important header file that we require in order to import all the necessary libraries that we are going to use ahead or that we need for our program to run smoothly then what I'm doing is I am declaring certain global variables and these global variables are L1, L2, L3 and L4 and they are having a data type of S bit. So what S bit means? S bit usually means single bit. Okay, that means I just am going to use a single bit in order to go ahead with this particular variable. So I'm having variable L1, L2, L3 and L4 which are going to act as the four windings of my stepper motor. We have already seen what a stepper motor means. So uh, just to tell you people again, a stepper motor is nothing but a motor which is having four windings and it can work in a full uh, wave and also in a half cycle so over here we are using a by stepper in this particular program we'll be using a by stepper which is basically having four windings okay so for uh, representing those four windings i'm using l1 l2 l3 and l4 okay now what i say i am connecting each of these windings with my pins of port one so p1 here basically stands for port one so i say that my winding number number 1 that is L1 will be connected to pin number 0 of port 1. Similarly, L2 will be connected to pin number 1 of port 1. L3 will be connected to pin number 2 of port 1. And finally, L4 will be connected to pin number 3 of port 1. Okay. So basically, these are my four windings. And for each of the winding, I'm just utilizing one one bit of my port 1. And that's the reason we have used the data type S bit over here. Then I am just prototyping my function over here, which is delay function. Now, I start with my void main and inside my void main I do the very first task which is setting all of the pins all of the four pins of my port 1 which is 0, 1, 2 and 3 to 0. So instead of calling the pins by the convention p1 cap 0, p1 cap 1 now instead I am calling them by using their variable name which we have declared over here that is l1, l2, l3 and l4. So here I basically state that my l1, l2, l3 and l4 all are set to what? Set to 0. Okay these are set to zero now I start with my while one so uh, writing a program in while one is really important and necessary if you want to make sure that your program runs continuously or for uh, infinite number of times okay so here in order to make my motor run in an anti-clockwise direction what I have to do is I have to first pass current to my winding number one so I say l1 should be equals to zero so what this will do is this will set the l1 to zero setting l1 to zero is nothing but what setting the pin number zero of my port one to zero so this is basically going to set my l1 that that is pin number 0 of my port 1 to 0. After that, I am setting all the other pins which are L2, L3 and L4 to what? To 0. Okay. And then I am giving a delay. Okay. Now I am repeating the steps over here in this but this time I am making my L2 as 1 and then I am making all the other pins that is L1, L3 and L4 as 0. Again, I am giving some delay. After that, I make my L3 as 1 and then make all the other pins that is L2, L3. L1 and L4 as 0 and finally I am making L4 as 1 and then L2, L3 and L1 as 0. So if you are writing this particular program then what it is going to do is it is going to make your motor rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. Now the problem statement says that you need to rotate in clockwise also in anti-clockwise okay. So if you just want to rotate in anti-clockwise direction you can start by writing from L1 that is setting your pin number L1 to 0 and then L2 
टू एंड देन एल थ्री एंड देन एल फोर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रोटेट इट इन अ क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन देन यू कैन स्टार्ट दी अपोजिट वे सो इन ऑर्डर टू रोटेट योर प्रोग्राम और सॉरी इन ऑर्डर टू रोटेट योर मोटर इन क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन यू कैन राइट एल फोर इक्वल्स टू वन सो फर्स्ट यू आर मेकिंग योर लास्ट पिन ओके दैट इज पिन नंबर थ्री ऑफ माई पोर्ट नंबर वन एज अ वन सो यू आर सेटिंग दिस टू वन एंड देन यू आर सेटिंग ऑल दी अदर पिन टू जीरो अगेन सम डीले एंड सिमिलरली यू आर गोइंग अहेड विथ एल थ्री एज वन ऑल दी अदर्स टू जीरो L2 as one, all the others to zero, and finally L1 as one, and all the others as zero. So what this is going to do is this is going to rotate your motor in a clockwise direction. So it is upon you here. I'm showing you both the ways: writing it or rotating it in an anti-clockwise and also in a clockwise direction. If you just want to go with anti-clockwise, use L1 as one, and then slowly move further till L4 as one. If you want to rotate only in clockwise direction, then you can use this particular program okay so here i am just completing my while one loop and then finally i am also completing my main over here okay and this is just a delay program that we have seen many times so here in order to give that delay i am just using two nested for loops where i is equals to 1 i is less than time i plus plus and then finally j is equals to 0 j is less than or equal to 2 j plus plus okay so we are just using these two for loops in order to generate certain delay so this is our program i hope the program is clear to you because it's really very very simple now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this particular program and move on to our kyle software so uh, this is how kyle software looks what i'll do is i'll start with a new project so you need to go to project and new microvision project okay uh now it's asking me where i want to save my project so let me save it inside documents folder and i have always said that whenever you're creating a new project make sure that you create it in a new folder so that it's easier for you people to access the file so let me call this folder as stepper motor okay um, and then inside this particular folder i'm going to name my project let me give my project name as stepper motor and then click on save the moment i click on save it's asking me to select the target so the target that means the microcontroller on which we want to actually build our program so the microcontroller that we are using over here is 8089c51 so i'm writing 80 Eight nine C five one, and you guys can see that this particular controller is available here. Eight eight nine C five one. So I'm going to click on OK, and then it's asking whether you want to copy the startup file. So you need to say yes. Now once you're done, you can see that the startup file is here inside your project. Now let's go ahead and start copying our code inside a. text editor so for that i can either press control n or click on this icon and it's going to give me a new text editor so in this text editor i have again copy pasted the same program that we have just seen starting from hash include then defining all of my global variables using sbit then writing the code for anti clockwise direction then again for clockwise direction and finally our delay okay once all of this is done what i will do is i'll save my program so i'm just saying control s and you can see that i'm saving it inside the same folder of stepper motor so let me give it at stepper motor dot c so i'm naming this particular program at stepper motor dot c you can name it anything but just make sure that the extension is dot c okay so we have saved this text file using stepper motor dot c now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add this particular text file in our source group okay so i'll right click on my source group one and then click on this particular option which is add existing files okay and now it's giving me the file that i need to add which is stepper motor dot c so i'll just add and then click on close the moment i do that you can see that now the stepper motor dot c is available inside my project tab okay now there are few more things that needs to be done so first of all we need to go ahead here in our target and right click on target uh, the moment you right click over there you will get an option for target click on those options and you need to change this particular frequency to 11.05 92 okay after this is done you need to go to this output tab and make sure that this create hex file checkbox is turned on okay so these are the two things that you need to do in your options now i'll click on okay and the things are almost done so now it's time to build our project so let us go ahead and build so you can see the build has started
and yes you can see that the file has been created the hex file which is very important for us has been created and also there are zero errors and zero warnings now you can even go ahead and run your program here inside your kyle itself so in order to do that you can just start with the debug session then move on to peripherals and since we are using port 1 use port 1 from the peripherals and then click on run to see what's happening and or whether the bits are properly running or not so you can see that first i was making my l1 as on then l2 then l3 and l4 so it's basically doing the task okay so and now i'm going to stop this debug session and now let's go ahead and see how can we design the circuit in our Proteus and what further steps are needed in order to complete our simulation. So let's go to Proteus now. So this is the interface of the Proteus. Now in order to implement our circuit in Proteus, we need two things. First is our microcontroller and then second is our stepper motor. So let's go in my pick devices and here I am going to use the same microcontroller which is 889C51. So I have written it in my keywords and you can see that 889C51 is there. I'm going to double click and you can see that it's now available in my devices section. Next I need is stepper motor. So let me start writing stepper motor in my keyword. The moment I am done writing you can see that it gives us three options for stepper motor of which I'm going to use this by stepper for our project. Okay. Click on OK and you can see that both the devices that we need are now available in our devices. So now I'm going to click on my controller and place it in my workplace. Okay. And then I'm also going to click on my stepper motor and place it on my workspace. Okay. So now we just have to connect. Remember that we have used port 1. So we need to always connect the stepper motor with port 1. And we have utilized four pins of port 1. P1.0, P1.1, P1.2 and P1.3. So we have to utilize only these four pins. So here I am connecting my P1.1 with my L1. P1.2 with my L2. Then I am connecting this... Uh, p1.2 with my l3 and previously actually i have connected p1.1 with my l2 and finally moving on and connecting my last pin which is p1.3 with my l4 that's it so this is uh, uh, how easy the circuit designing part here is and we'll just do one more thing which is we'll connect our reset pin to power so i've taken power from the terminal section and yeah, we have done the connection. Now, I need to upload my hex file on my controller. So, in order to do that, you can either double click on the controller or you can right click and then go to edit properties. So, here is the edit properties dialog box of my controller 889C51. Now, here you can see there's an option which is program file. So, here we have to basically upload the file that we have created just now. Okay. So, for that, I'll browse and I have saved it inside my documents so I'll have to go to that folder which is step promoter and then here you will find your hex file inside objects okay so this objects and this hex file is already been created when I am creating my project and when we select that checkbox of create hex file okay so when I click on my objects folder you can see that stepper motor dot hex has been created over here so I'll open this file I load it as my program file and then I'll change the frequency of my clock and match it with what I have written in my kite okay so we have changed that now we'll click on ok and i think that's it the task is done in order to connect and interface our stepper motor with 889c51 in proteus now we'll move ahead and we'll play okay and you can see that it will rotate in anti-clockwise and then in clockwise direction so i think it's visible but still i'll go in and zoom in a bit so that it's visible more clearly yeah so now i'll run the simulation again and you can see it's running in anti-clockwise and in clockwise direction so this is anti this is clockwise anti-clockwise and then in clockwise direction so yes that's all for this particular video i hope you have liked this video if you do please do like share subscribe and comment thank you so much